Live from the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, this is Iowa Live. Welcome back to the program, everybody. Man, we are so happy to see someone who I can honestly call a friend of mine for many, many years. Uh, was friends with her dad as well. You might know her dad, Johnny Orr, legendary basketball coach for Iowa State. This is Becky. Uh, it's so amazing to see you and so amazing to see the organizations that you're associated with. Well, thank you, Lou. You're very good to us. We <laughs> appreciate it. And by us, you mean the Alzheimer's Association. Yes. Now, first, let's explain why the Alzheimer's Association is so special to Becky. OK, because my mom had Alzheimer's for 15 years. And my dad used to have a golf tournament called the Johnny and Rami or Alzheimer's Golf Tournament. But my business, which I've only been around since 2018, um, we started it three years ago and we changed the name because it was mom that had Alzheimer's, not dad, and we call it rojogolf.com. And that's why my sweatshirt says, Memories Matter, and it's Rojo. And we do it on, in honor of the longest day to raise money for the Alzheimer's Association, and it's at Lake Panorama National Golf Course mm -hmm. um, on June 25th at 9 a.m., and the reason we're doing it there is because they charge us the least amount of anybody for the golf so okay. we can contribute more to the Alzheimer's Association. And that was really important because you had a heck of a donation last time around. Yeah, last year we donated over $15,000 to wow. the Alzheimer's Association. And my, my favorite thing about the Alzheimer's Association is that their motto is to end Alzheimer's. So they are in an effort to try and end this disease because nobody really wants it. And it's a pretty tough disease, but the longest day offers everybody an option to open or do something in honor of the longest day. And it doesn't have to be done on the longest day, which is June 21st. Mm -hmm. It can be done anytime, like a garage sale, host a party, live stream, hold a board game, teach class, organize a sports tournament. You know, you can do anything you want. And just as long as you as long do as with, this, with this in mind. Yes, as long as you're raising money to contribute to the Alzheimer's. It's the longest day, so you have plenty of time, right? Yes, okay. yes. Okay, but and, and, uh, being able to do things like this, is this, um, you know, obviously your mom was suffering from this. Do you do, is, it, is your mom the driving force behind this, or is it anybody that does have the disease? It's anybody that has the disease. And you know, by virtue of the fact that it's a genetically linked disease, anyone who has it has kids who might get it, I mean, the efforts of the Alzheimer's Association are phenomenal in that they have created drugs that remove plaques and tangles. They are just yeah, doing remarkable yeah, Look work. at these stats. Okay? I know, it's the, the, scary. The stats are scary. Uh, it, it's not quite the seven million yet. And that we, we double checked that number before we went on. It's, yes. in the, it's over six million people in America have Alzheimer's now. And a third of the seniors die with Alzheimer's or dementia, yes. which is scary. But here's the third thing that's on that list. That's something that is very important, the caretakers. Yes, and there are a lot of, I mean, I took care of my mom before we moved them into a community. Mm -hmm. Dad was working for Iowa Network Services and he'd drop her off at my house, but I didn't care. It was fun. She was fun to have around, but she was a very positive person. And not everybody is that positive, but it has to do with how you were raised because you go back in time. Mm -hmm. But I understand the disease and I do a lot of volunteering for the Alzheimer's Association and I'm very proud of what they are accomplishing in the science side of what's going on. Okay, now this is coming up in June, so you have plenty of time uh, to make arrangements for this. It's on a Tuesday, which gives you a great excuse to take off of work. Yeah. Okay, wh which is awesome. Now, how many people uh, are you gonna be able to get in on the golf tournament? Do you have any idea there? Yes, we can do two groups of four on each of the 18, 18 holes. holes. Okay. So it's a lot of people. Okay. And it's, you can go to rojogolf.com to register. It's rojogolf.com mm -hmm. on the bottom of the screen. Mm -hmm. And you can sign up to either be a hole sponsor or you can sign up to register a golf team. Okay, and I believe we have a QR code too. If you, uh, there's a, there, there's a great picture. Look at that yeah. gang that's all getting ready to golf. I do believe we have a, a QR code. We can pop up on the screen there uh, for a little bit. If you zap that, okay, take, just take a picture of that, zap that, and you'll, it'll take you right to where you go. 
and it'll get you uh, all the, the places you need to be to get signed up for the golf tournament, yep. which, which is really, really something else. And knowing that the funds are going to the Alzheimer's Association. Yep. And, and you get one of these cool little koozies, too, that she's drinking out of. So you see, you get one of those, too. So it, it's Rami. Rojo Golf. Okay, Rami so, or Johnny Orr. Rami or Johnny Orr. That's what Rojo stands for. That is happening on the 25th of June at Lake Panorama National Golf Course. And yes, Becky is going to be there with bells on. And if you have never golfed or had spent any time with this young lady, it is worth the price of admission. No question about it. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I don't get to golf because I'm running the tournament. But, but she'll okay. be there. Yes. But she'll be there. Good to see you, my friend. Give me Thank a hug. You. Give me a hug. This is my awesome. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank and thank you. you so much for spending a little bit of time with us. We'll see you back here tomorrow on Iowa Live.